Welcome back. This is part three, unit nine, ventures four, for the 26th, if we were in class. This is KCPC. The last time we um, used these vocabulary words, and I would like to review them again because repetition strengthens your memory of them. So what is the first one? Radiation. The next, toxic waste. Next, cancer. Next, uranium. Mining. Mining requires vast amounts of energy. Significant. A lot, a great deal, a large amount. Consequences. The result of something happening, affected, emissions, restricted area, carbon dioxide, emit, let's erase, first one, radiation, next, Toxic waste. Next, cancer. Next, uranium. Next. Mining requires vast amounts of energy. This. Significant. This. Consequences. Affected. Emissions. Restricted area. Carbon dioxide. emit unnecessary so what I wanted to sh point out when you use the word unnecessary in the spelling two n's and two s's on the prefix then necessary two s's the next next respiratory next Respiration. What is it? Unnecessary. Respiratory. Respiration. Movement of oxygen to cells within tissues and transport of carbon dioxide in the opposite direction. Anti. Against. Opposite. So we're still talking about cause and effect. If you would please open your workbook on page 109. And section three, match the antonyms, anti the opposite. Let's go through the word pronunciation first, the left side, then the right. Everyone, miserable. What word do you think of when you, what other word do you think of when you hear the word miserable? Miserable is the adjective. The noun is misery. What is it? Misery. Good. Next, wise. Next, summoned. Next, multiply. What other word do you think of when you think of multiply? Multiplication? Good. Next, furious. Next, connected. Other side, calm. The L is silent, calm. 
So it sounds like O, C-O-M, calm. The next, decrease. What's the opposite of decrease? Increase. Next, foolish. What's the, this is an adjective. So what is a noun that you think of when you hear the word foolish? Fool. How about a verb? Yes, fool. You're going to fool somebody, and someone is a fool. Next, happy. Next, unrelated. Without the prefix, related. Next, ignored. Good. So it says match the antonyms. One, miserable. The opposite, happy. Number two, wise. Opposite, foolish. Number three, summoned. Opposite, ignored. Number four, multiply. Decrease. Five, furious. Calm. Six, connected. Unrelated. Okay, good. Let's go to number four. Complete the sentences. We're going to go through the vocabulary first. Up and down. Blamed. Connected. Furious, miserable, multiply, peacefully, summoned, swamp, wise. Okay. Sentence number one. I hope you're reading out loud. This is the whole idea of why I'm pausing and I want you to read out loud, even if no one can hear you. The idea is to strengthen the muscles in your face, around your lips, and also having the practice of speaking English words and sentences. Number one, insects will multiply if there are no birds or other animals to eat them. So what other idea that we just read could we, how could we use this sentence with an idea that we just went over? Rabbits will multiply if there are no birds or animals to eat them. Good. Number two, my grandmother is a very wise woman who always gives superb advice. So what does the word superb come from? Super, the best, the top, right? Number three, a healthy diet and exercise are connected with good health. Number four, my father was furious and shouted at me when I borrowed his car and then got in an accident with it. Number five, it was midnight and everyone in the family was sleeping peacefully. Notice, this is an adverb. It describes the verb. The verb is sleeping. So peaceful is going to usually adverbs end in L-Y. So how was, was he sleeping? Or how was, were they sleeping peacefully? Sleeping peacefully. Number six, my boss blamed me for not scheduling the meeting, but I didn't know he wanted to have one. Seven, Rachel felt miserable and cried a lot after she failed her exam. Eight, the principal summoned me to her office. Number nine, 
Mosquitoes and frogs are the kinds of animals that live in a that's right, swamp. Okay, so here we have finished um, 109. And we are now going to go to the student book. and turn to page 120. Top of the page, life skills reading. Notice life skills hyphen between it. Not one word, not two separate words, but connected by a hyphen. Everyone, save our planet. Our choices matter. This is kind of astonishing. Uh, actually, everyone, a percent, a hundred and fifty percent more energy is used by regular light bulbs than energy efficient compact fluorescent bulbs. Any thoughts about this particular idea? Any other vocabulary that you think of when you're reading this or thinking about this? LED, right? LED, notice energy efficient hyphenated, life skills, hyphenated. How much more energy is used by regular light bulbs than energy efficient bulbs? 150%. Okay, next, 400 gallons of water are wasted every month when you have a leaky faucet. Wow, what's the adjective for the faucet? Leaky. Okay, what does a leak mean? Water coming out where it's not supposed to. How many gallons of water are wasted? 400 gallons of water are wasted. Next, 1,000 years is how long plastic bottles take to decompose in landfills. What does decompose mean? Break up into little pieces. How long does it take for plastic to decompose in landfills? A thousand years. Next. There's two ways to read this number. What are they? That's right, 1,200 or 1,200 pounds of organic garbage are thrown out by the average American in a year. So what does organic mean? Plant-based, so that it will decompose. How many pounds are thrown out? 1,200 pounds, or, and, and actually very few people would say 1,200. Most people would say 1,200. Okay, next, 95,000 pounds of pollution are produced by driving a car for one year. How many pounds? 95,000 pounds. By the way, does this spark an idea in your head as you read this at this particular time? Can you explain it to me, even if I can't hear it? Yes, people are not driving. They are sheltering in place, so pollution has gone down. Has it gone down everywhere or just in one place? It has gone down everywhere. So what are two countries that you think of, three countries that you think of when you think of people who have many cars 
and the air is extremely polluted. I think of China and India and also the United States, but I think it's um, higher in China and Indi India. And so in China, what do people normally do to combat smog or pollution from cars? Yes, they usually wear masks, so they're accustomed to wearing masks. Next, 14 million trees are cut down to produce the 10 billion paper bags that Americans use every year. Wow, those are astonishing numbers. How many trees are cut down? 14 million trees are cut down. And how many paper bags do Americans use every year? 10 billion. So it's a toss up. 10 billion paper bags or 10 billion plastic bags. Plastic takes a thousand years to decompose. Paper, we're cutting down trees. What is the thing about cutting down trees that we use for paper bags that comes to mind when you read this? It might counterbalance or help. Yes, trees are replanted. There is um, a huge industry that replants trees and tiny seedlings when things are deforested or when um, forests are cut down. So that's a partial positive on that side, partial. Let's go to A. Read the questions, look at the handout, fill in the answer. Everyone, what does the number 95,000 represent? C. Pounds of pollution from a car in one year. Two. According to the handout, why are plastic bottles bad? They take a long time to decompose. Number three, in the sentence, 400 gallons of water are wasted every month when you have a leaky faucet. What does wasted mean? used carelessly. Number four, the handout does not discuss pollution from airplanes. Is there pollution from airplanes? Yes, and when they have too much fuel, in addition to general pollution from um, an airplane flying, they also discharge fuel in the sky if they have too much fuel before they're ready to land. Okay. So what we did not do is read all of the uh, answers, and I forgot to do that, but I would like to do that because I like to have you read and pronounce each of the, um, all, all of the vocabulary. Let's go back to one. A, pounds of organic garbage thrown out. B, Pounds of smog from factories. C, pounds of pollution from a car in one year. D, none of the above. Two, require a lot of energy to make. B, take a long time to decompose. C, expensive to make. D, none of the above. Three, used carefully used carelessly, used wisely, used on purpose. Four, plastic bottles in landfills, pollution from cars, pollution from airplanes, cutting down trees to make bags. Okay, so we have finished. I think we're going to stop here, and then in the next series, we will take up
part B on page 20. See you next time.